Murphy and Gondo on the ball to get us rolling. A Mercer team that controls their own destiny, two wins, and they win the SOCON regular season title, but they've got to go through two of the best teams in the conference, starting with the Spartans. Meanwhile, UNCG with a win tonight and get back tied for first place with ETSU. Trying to get the ball towards the box right away, the Spartans, and it goes out for a goal kick. Trevor Mc. Mullen in the net tonight for the Bears. He was a starter the last couple matches. Both clean sheets. The Bears have bounced between McMullen and Brant Zuloff, the junior keeper. But it will be McMullen the rest of the season. Great kicking games. The Bears head coach Brad Ruzzo called him a gamer, a competitor. And a guy that's been doing a great job in the net with his decision making and his communication with the back line. Possession here for the Spartans. Working along their back line. This is what UNCG will do. They'll pressure, try and get a lot of balls behind the defense. They'll be very aggressive with their positioning. Meanwhile, Mercer content to allow UNCG to have some of the early possession and then try and get counterattacks and stay organized on defense. Mercer working up the right side. Ball being pinged around. Usman Jabang tried to control it but went off his palm and it'll be a Spartans ball. UNCG coming off a tie with ETSU after a big win against Clemson 11 days ago. They beat a ranked Tigers team who's out of the top 25 now, went on the road to historic Riggs Field and pulled out a 2-1 win. The second year in a row they beat Clemson, defending national champs. The Spartans may have a good enough resume this year to get in the NCAA tournament without winning the Southern Conference, which is a rarity. A lot of times if you don't win the Southern Conference tournament, you will not get in the NCAA tournament. And UNCG found that out last year when they felt like they deserved to get in, but a loss in the semis to Belmont kept them out of that tournament. Spartans have gotten some big results this year, a tie at Louisville. A win over a high RPI team in Elon. Their only loss this season was to Campbell, a 1-0 loss. UNCG starting their attack from the midfield stripe. And the offsides flag is up. It was Steven Hernandez, the freshman, that got behind the back line. Mercer very strong defensively. They've got three shutouts in Southern Conference matches. Now on the other side of the coin, two of those matches ended in ties. So the offensive production has not been where the Bears would like it. But their defense has been superior. Long ball for McMullen. You can see his kicking ability. Ahead, Gaither in the mix there. Kadima Guard went up to try and head it. And now we have a big foul and contact right at the top of the box. Foul on Basile Mark, the sophomore. Ran right into the side and a good sell from the Mercer player. Maybe Dylan Gaither he made contact with. Couldn't see the number on that. But this is a massive opportunity early for the Bears, who have not had a ton of offense in their last five or six matches. But this is an opportunity early and a big SoCon match to put a goal on the board just about five minutes into this one. 
Gaither thinking about how he wants to take this. He is maybe three feet in front of the 18-yard box, directly in front of the net. UNCG, a massive wall. They've also got somebody laying behind the wall. And here's Gaither, tries a shot just wide. Inches wide of the right post, and UNCG dodges a bullet. Gaither curled it around the wall, but couldn't quite find some space in the bottom right corner. Nicholas Wild was diving in that direction. A big foul early. And a big break for the Spartans. Mercer excels in their set pieces, and that was an opportunity to score an early goal. Bears back on the attack now. And it will stay with Mercer. Jim Cox had the senior to throw. Bears have done well with some long throws. They got a goal against VMI with a long throw in their last match. And here's the throw into the box. Still trouble on the back post, but it's knocked away by the Spartans. So now the Bears threatening. And they will control possession. A chance for the Spartans to breathe with a goal kick here. Nicholas Wild just goes ahead and plays it out to Rocky Carr. Afonso trying to control it. Excuse me, El Harchi. Ismail El Harchi, number 29 for the Spartans. Grad student from Spain. And his first season with UNCG, five goals in his last five matches. He scored in four of the last five. Leads the team with seven goals on the season. Here's Ethan Conley up ahead for Hernandez. Conley had the game-winning goal against Clemson late in the match. His first career goal. So, so far, the foul at the top of the box and the shot that missed wide on the set piece from Dylan Gaither has been the best opportunity so far. Gaither was set up about 19, 20 yards out, nearly directly in the center of the pitch. But the shot just missed wide right. Here's Hernandez, ahead Vignali, in for El Harchi, just knocked away at the last moment by Saku Agar. So we talked a lot about Kadeem, but Saku is twin brother. Sophomore defender, anchors that back line that's had a little bit of movement this season, some personnel changes. Another ball in, fended off. Conley will play it back. We've seen UNCG with possession having 10 of their 11, everybody except the goalkeeper Wild, ahead of the midfield strike. Now the Spartans will try and spread the field a little bit. Not a long ball for El Harchi. And we've got a whistle and a foul. So here's a chance for the Spartans to try a set piece with some decent positioning. Conley as well as Marco Afonso on the ball. Afonso, four goals, five assists this season. Jostling at the top of the box. Conley. 
Trying near post and Gondo deflected away. Clever set piece for UNCG. Conley just dropped it off, letting Gondo run into space. But a good piece of defending by Mercer to thwart the opportunity. Jabang tried to control. Spartans send it all the way to the left side. Probe with a cross to the far post. Knocked away. And now we have a whistle and a foul on Mercer. Sliding in. And making some contact, drawing a yellow card was Angel Gonzalez, the redshirt junior. And another opportunity for the Spartans. So they just had a set piece from about this positioning on the near side of the pitch. Gonzalez picks up the yellow, an early booking. So Fonzo again, this time he's with Ngondo, discussing how they want to take it. Ngondo can be very clever with the ball. He has pinpoint passing ability. The reason he leads the NCAA with 11 assists. So who's going to take it? Will be Ngondo chipping it in. Hagan tries a header. Trouble in front of the net. And it's scooped up by McMullen. And Gondo with a pretty pass to the near post. Hagen not a ton on the header, and the Bears able to fend it off. McMullen had to go through traffic to get to that ball. Here are the Bears on the attack. A guard in front of the net. Stay with Mercer. Throwing from Pondeca. Gaither trying to get a touch. Haven't seen Gaither with a ton of opportunities outside of that very early free kick from about 20 yards out. I asked Mercer's head coach, Brad Ruzzo, how they would use Gaither in a match like tonight, knowing UNCG would probably be keying on him. And they said they were going to give Gaither a chance to move around a lot. He can play out wide. He can play from the middle if he wants. Playing up top right now. But Gaither has the ability to kind of move around as he pleases and create some space for himself. Jump ball, Harchi rises up. Now it's controlled by Jabang. Takeaway there from Vignali, but it's taken right back by Gonzalez and sent to McMullen. A lot of defenders around Gaither. Spartans want to make it difficult when Gaither has the ball. Still no score in this one. Over 12 and a half in. UNCG a couple chances off set pieces. Mercer a big chance from a free kick about 20 yards out. Not a lot created outside of set pieces so far in this match. Hernandez trying to get behind a guard. Controlling it on the right side. Trying to get through two defenders. We've got a whistle. And a foul on the Bears. Pondeca, excuse me, who tripped up Hernandez. 
And this is another opportunity for the Spartans who've gotten some good looks. Uh, what will now be their third free kick. Typically Mercer, the one who has the advantage in the set piece game, but UNCG with how many threats they have offensively, they could do so many different things on their set pieces. Afonso on the ball, headed away and a whistle. That'll fizzle out the threat. Slow to get up in front of the net. I think that's Liam Coxhead. So far, Mercer's defense is held. Spartans offense averaging easily over two goals a match. If UNCG can build back up from here. They want to attack quickly, and Gondo struggling to control. And now ball up ahead for a guard. That'll get out of play. Mercer has tried to make it difficult for Ngondo. A lot of the offense will run through him, despite UNCG using a lot of different players. And Gondo, most possessions, they'll try and get him a touch, a chance to set something up. Gaither coming all the way back for the ball, see if he can create. Wayward pass there. Chance for Ngondo with space. He swarmed, Coxhead takes it away. Back and forth possession here, and the Spartans will play it back, try and control. But we've seen Mercer early try and go blow for blow in transition, trying to create some opportunities on the counter or in loose ball situations. Spartans back to their high press. Bang with the takeaway for a moment. MCG left side and Gondo dribbling in front of the box. Finds an angle and he buries a shot. Somehow found space in the bottom left corner of the net and the Spartans take the lead. JC and Gondo. He can assist off his foot, but he could score as well. And he drops in his fourth of the season. That's just impressive playmaking ability for Ngondo. He got an opportunity on the top of the box, dribbled to a spot where he had an angle, and then surprised McMullen by going to the far post where he had less of the net to work with. And in the 17th minute, Ngondo gives the Spartans the early edge. See if that changes how these teams approach. Spartans were initially pressing very high. Mercer just waiting for a counter opportunity. But now the Spartans could sit back a little bit more. Throw in for Mercer. They'll try a long throw here. Just the second shot for UNCG. Chance on a bicycle. Gonzalez going for a world-class finish. 
but he couldn't quite get it through the UNCG swarm. Here's Ngondo creating. Clever pass and a shot ricochets off the left side of the net from Afonso. And that went off a Mercer defender, so it will be a corner kick. Afonso will take it. The transfer from Grand Canyon University was a four-year starter for the Antelopes. And he was the most experienced player on the team, decided to transfer to the Spartans. Done well operating out wide this season. The seal mark, nobody around him, but he struggles with the touch. And it's taken away by a guard. Possession back with Hernandez. Trying to slice through, got tied up with a guard and whistled for the foul. JC and Gondo in the 17th minute, putting the Spartans up one to nothing. Bang over to a guard. Mercer will come back over to the left side. The Bears getting a little bit of possession here. 20 minutes into this one. And when only five matches decide the table for SOCON men's soccer, each match is huge. And both these teams know that. That's why nearly every team in the SOCON controls their own destiny as a good opportunity for a guard who came flying in off the foot of Gaither goes high of the net. Cross came off the left foot of Gaither, who's so good with both feet. But for the Spartans, a win tonight would tie them back up with ETSU in first. They tied ETSU. Meanwhile, Mercer still technically controlling their own destiny. Two wins, and they're the regular season champs. Just have to go through UNCG and ETSU, and they're already behind one to nothing, really, in this one. Mercer right now is in fourth with five points. Spartans tied for second with Wofford, who won their match tonight at seven points. And then you got ETSU with 10 points at the top of the table right now. All being headed around. Now drops with Ngondo. This is trouble. Pass up ahead for Hernandez, and it's just a little long. Nothing Spartans approaching halfway to this first stanza here at Bet Stadium in Macon. A lot of UNCG teams in town this weekend. The women's soccer team watching tonight. They'll play tomorrow in a big match against Mercer's women's team a lot in the line in the SOCON standings in that one. And then volleyball with UNCG and Mercer happening tonight as well. 
Afonso just keeps it off the back line. McNally pressured by Jabang. Now here's a takeaway and a whistle. And slow to get up off the contact from Ngando is going to get a yellow. It's like Gonzalez just got run into from behind. And Ngando has got the lone goal in this match gets a booking. Gonzalez was booked earlier and now Ngando gets a yellow. So some early bookings in this one. Officiated crew not messing around tonight. Christopher Haggerty, our head referee. <laughs> Off the head of a Spartan defender, Gaither. Deflected on a long opportunity. Here's Ngando working on Pondeca. Long pass for Hernandez, and that's a little bit too long. Now for a goal kick. I haven't seen a ton of shots from either side so far in this one, but there have been quality opportunities for both. Most notable for Mercer, when their only shot was a free kick from 20 yards out. Gaither sent wide right. A couple opportunities for UNCG. Some chances offset pieces, and then the goal by Ngando creating for himself at the top of the box. Right now, these two teams are just trying to get behind the defense. And drop balls in. Two teams with a close history, UNCG leads all time. Eight wins, six losses, two ties. The last meeting in October of last season, UNCG won three to nothing. Theo Colomb, who was a high draft pick in the MLS last season and a second team All-American, had two goals in that match. He went 72nd overall to the Vancouver Whitecaps in the most recent MLS draft. And last time these two teams were in Macon, they tied 1-1. That was in March of 2021. Conley will stay up the near side. Jabang and Hagen got tied up. See some of the Spartan subs getting warm in the corner, keeping those legs loose. It'll be Spartan's possession. with Milanese. Mercer applying a little bit more pressure now that they're down by a goal, trying to get more possession. Jabang with a takeaway. Guard, excuse me, Jabang on the ball now. Gaither back to Pondeka. UNCG is relentless. They make you pass very quickly. Try and force quick decision making. And 
And a lot of that speaks to the fitness of the Spartan team. They can apply a lot of pressure and do it for 90 minutes. Couple subs for the Mercer Bears. First substitutions we've seen in this match. Fernando Arteaga came in for Jackson Bryant. Or Bryant Jackson, excuse me. Long try, and that went off the hands of the keeper, Wild. It's a corner kick for Mercer. The other substitution for the Bears, Dalton Reyna for Liam, Liam Coxhead. So here's Gaither on the corner. Mercer, strong in set pieces. Near post, ball bouncing around and out goes above the net. Oh, that was a major opportunity for the Bears. A couple that they've had in this first half. Pinballed off a few different players. Here's another look. Eldridge in the mix. And as he tried to get to it, it just bounced up over that crossbar. Bears really never out of a match with how good they are in set pieces. UNCG knowing that, not being comfortable with a one goal lead. Keep attacking aggressively. And Gondo stumbling, gets past the defender. Pass deflected, booted away. Conley coming forward, now he circles back for Hagen. Gaither, working left side. And that's great defending from Lossacar. Gaither wins it back, tries to send it in. And we've got a whistle. Was there a handball? Here's another look. Yeah, that went off the arm of the Greensboro defender, Steven Cordova. And this is another huge opportunity. The Bears have had a couple, but this is the biggest one yet. Down a goal, it'll be Dylan Gaither to try for a penalty kick to equalize. Nicholas Wild standing in the net. One of the best keepers in the country and the 2021 SOCON Goalkeeper of the Year. Referees trying to get the players in order. Here's Gaither. Wild with the save, still loose, and he punches it away. Wild comes up huge for the Spartans. And again, Gaither's turned away. Instinctual save from Wild. Pounced to his right. And it was all over Gaither's shot. And in two big moments for Dylan Gaither, a free kick from 20 yards out and then a penalty kick. Nicholas Wild. 
Able to make it difficult for him, and he comes up with the big save on the penalty. And Wilde in his third season in the net with one of his biggest saves. UNCG team that knows every win they pull out is one step closer to the NCAA tournament, building that resume. They believe that they should get in the tournament even if they don't win the SOCON postseason. So a one nothing lead for the Spartans. And it's been arguably Mercer with some of the better chances in this first half. But Wild came up big on the penalty. Couple of chances in front of the net that just couldn't find their way in. And UNCG has taken advantage of their opportunities. Especially in Gondo with the shot in the bottom left corner in the 17th minute. Offside flag is up. So 12 and a half to go in this first half. Big boot from Wild. Possession stays with the Spartans. Milanese say to throw. with Lassacar. Guard trying to control, take it away by El Harchi. Waiting for numbers. Pass got through Ngondo's legs to Vignali. Counter chance for Mercer. Trickles to Hagen. And Gondo, two defenders on him. Gondo coming back for it. Mobs one in. El Harchi walling off a defender. Can't keep control. Vignali now. Spartans not afraid to play it back and reset. Afonso, nobody home. Now here's Gaither. Picking up for him is Jabang. Gaither trying to get through Vignali. Nice pass, Jabang. Gonzalez now inside the box, circling. Shot deflected, punched away right to Gaither though. He tries a shot, but it's right into the waiting arms of Wilde who covers it up. Mercer on the counter, Gaither with a nice pass to Jubang who distributed to Gonzalez. The Spartans able to get numbers back. There's a look at Gonzalez's shot. Conley mistakenly played it right to Gaither. But a weak shot into the arms of Wild ended the opportunity. Still one nothing Spartans. And Gondo's goal in the 17th minute is the difference. Into the match, 
And on the goal and Gondo found space, was working from the left side, dribbled around the top of the box, and buried one with not a lot of space in the bottom left corner. It was just impressive. The individual effort of JC and Gondo. Lost the car into trouble. Here's a chance for Mercer. They'll have a chance here. Gaither with possession. Swings it out wide. Has Arteaga. Cross in and a dangerous header goes over the top crossbar. Wild was there. As I mentioned a couple times, Mercer has had their opportunities. They've been able to create offense on the counterattack. They just haven't finished their chances, and that includes the big penalty kick that Gaither had saved by Wild, who really did a tremendous job. Jumped up to his right, cut off the angle a little bit, and then leaped further to his right and punched away a difficult shot by Gaither. Here's Ngondo, so difficult to defend. He goes to the ground, and we will not have a whistle. Gondo was trying to get around a defender, got tripped up. Under seven minutes to go in this first half. Both teams trading opportunities. All set in all different directions. Ends up with Gaither. Just played it. Jabang has it stripped by Vignali. Got El Harchi running up the right side. He's been quiet in this match. Leads UNCG with seven goals. Gondo working into space. With Mark now. Knocked away by a guard. Off his head. And Gondo. Seen him so many different parts of the pitch. Nice takeaway that time by Arteaga, but a uh, poor pass from Coxhead gets past Gaither. A little bit of frustration from the Bears. Certainly been a half where, from Mercer's perspective, you feel like you could be at least tied, maybe leading. And Gondo surrounded by White. Try to pass in for Colton Sessoms. Couldn't quite thread the needle. It's amazing to watch the swarm of defenders that'll get around in Gondo, who's already proven with this goal that he can score in this one, but honestly, where he's most dangerous is when he does get swarmed by defenders, he could find open teammates. Oh, 
Pass gets by Coxett and Gondo can't get to that one. Gaither again, left wing. Arteaga to his left, not a ton of numbers. Spartans have a lot back. Jabang from distance, and that doesn't test Wild much. Jabang could certainly strike it from out there. Here's another look. Had the space, took a touch, but Wild well positioned. So in this match with a lot on the line, two teams trying to climb the SOCON leaderboard. It's the Spartans in front. But Mercer's had their opportunities. It's been a very close match so far. And Mercer has not been afraid to go blow for blow with this dangerous Spartans team. That was Marco Race working. <laughs> Couple minutes to go in this first half. Big Nolly. Headed and controlled by Mercer. Tough for Mercer to get numbers forward if they don't get a very quick takeaway and a couple guys coming up. Spartans with their high press get back, and then Mercer, who's playing so deep, has trouble getting those numbers forward. Reyes for Ngondo. Seen him work from the left and the right side. Picks a pretty pass, Reyes off a Mercer defender and that'll be a corner. We've seen some of the Mercer back line show frustration. A lot of times the frustration comes when Ngondo has the ball trying to defend him. Time running down in this first half. McMullen punches away, and that's cleared out. 30 seconds to go. One last run here for the Spartans. El Harchi tried to go up with the guard. A guard won the battle. Ten seconds. And Gondo, here's a chance. Mercer all over it though. And that'll do it for the first half. JC and Gondo, a goal in the 17th minute. Nicholas Wild with a tremendous penalty in this second half. Spartans up by a goal. And here we go. So Mercer forced Wild to make a couple of big saves. Had the penalty kick in the first half. Starting behind by a goal. And Agondo had that goal. And it's been very dangerous. Putting one up ahead for El Harchi. Who pressures a guard. And I'll set up for a throw.
The Dima guard, quiet in the first half, gets past the sliding defender. Tries to send one in. That's tucked away by Hagen. Throw coming for Mercer. Very good with long throws this season. Jackson tries near side for Coxhead, but Wilds all over it. Thought about igniting quickly, now he'll hold. Neither of these clubs have lost their first three SOCON matches. First time Mercer's allowed a goal and SOCON play was in the first half. But just one win and two ties. Scoreless tie against Furman and Wofford. UNCG a couple wins and a tie against ETSU. They need a late goal from El Harchi in the 87th minute to win that one. They had 70% possession in that match, also a penalty kick. And as the offside flag goes up for Jubang. Greens, or the Spartans rather, still needed. A late goal from El Harchi just to salvage a point from that one. Controlled by Milanese. Asakar, Hagen. Hernandez couldn't control. Jackson. I'll be with the Spartans. Bonzo and Ngando working together. And Mercer possession. Nice job by a guard playing that off Ngando. On Deka. Has to go back for this throw in. Got a couple bookings in the first half. Cruz setting the tone early with cards to Gonzalez and Ngando. And yeah, we've seen some physicality in the box, but nothing egregious from either side. And Gondo with a beautiful touch. Working on Jabang, as well as Coxhead. Spartans will aggressively look for space, so allowing Gondo to kind of roam sideline to sideline. Here's Gondo, one on one. Hasn't happened often for him. A nice defending by Jubang. <laughs> 10 Spartans ahead of the midfield stripe, just Nicholas Wild back. Milanese. Oh, 
Asakar. Through ball played to Vignali. As in Gondo. Through a couple defenders, tries for the near post, but it misses just wide. Scored on a bottom left corner shot in the first half. He had a little bit of a better angle than he had there. McMullen with nice positioning. Bears had to play some exhausting defense there, but they hold up. Mercer possession with a guard. Gaither tried to play it through to a guard. Here's El Harchi. Spartans have numbers. Hernandez trying to get through. Ondeka was there. He was the last line of defense for the Bears. Seven minutes into this second half. Not a ton of quality opportunities for either side. And a first half that was full of them. Spartans came out initially, controlled a lot of the possession in this match. But in a match where I think a lot expected UNCG to hold at least two thirds of the possession, they were under 60% possession in the first half. Hernandez taking his time. Ignali. Spartans content to hold long possessions. Have that luxury up a goal. Mark for Afonso. And that one gets past everybody. Offside flag was up. Saw Hernandez on that run. Saw Harchi on that run. Just mistimed it. Mercer building from the back. Ondeka working. The guard, space on the right side. Tries a little long for Artiaga. UNCG is so tough to break through defensively. They've allowed just 10 goals this season. That's tied for 11th in the country. Jackson, Afonso with the challenge and he wins it. Gonzalez dancing, left foot. Gaither got a head on it. Still alive. And it's knocked around, finally ends up with Ngondo. This is dangerous. El Harchi on the run. Mark following behind him. El Harchi just over the crossbar. On the counter, Mercer close to score, and then El Harchi with his best opportunity of the night, and he just missed that one. A player that's finished well all season, and he had the opportunity there to make it a very difficult 
two goal lead. And jostling on the far sideline. Bears possession. 11 minutes gone in this second half. Mercer sets the balls into the box. UNCG had an opportunity on the counter. El Harchi shot one just over the crossbar. First half saw a lot of opportunities for both sides. Both sides. Gaither, a penalty kick saved by Wild and Gondo with the goal, of course. Both teams creating offset pieces, getting good looks. Mercer. Finally gets the ball over to that right wing with Jackson. He's up against Milanese. Aggressive defending and a whistle. Gaither circles around, comes close. And now he'll go ahead and take this set piece. To the top of the 18. Jumping, that was Jabang trying to create an opportunity. Still being pinballed around. Here's a chance. A guard, or excuse me, Jabang. Had his shot knocked away. Here's another look at it. He was falling away. And then it was booted out by a Spartan defender in front of the net. Mercer pressing higher. Swinging one in. Chance in front of the net. Gets away momentarily, and the Spartans thwart the opportunity. We've got a whistle in the box and a foul on the Bears. Couple of dangerous balls in front of the net. Here's the ball in. Gaither nearly an opportunity, then a guard coming for it. And then two players sliding at the last second. That's where we had the foul. Is Milanese down? See him running just out of the left of your screen. Seems to be all right. Has to be frustrating for Mercer. They've had some great opportunities in this match, but just have not found a way to get one through. And they've outshot UNCG nine to six. A long try there from Vignali. McMullen up to the task. Spartans now with numbers. Pass in between El Harchi and Afonso. Under 30 minutes to go in this one. Still that goal from Engondo in the 17th minute. The only tally so far.
And Gondo jostling for positioning. Here's Gaither. Up ahead, a guard against Lassikar. Lassikar pokes it away. And that's really good defending by Lassikar. Played out to Milanese, a guard wins it back. Now it's with Ngondo. Man, that's Bear's possession. Ngondo can't believe it. We've seen some really good competition between these two clubs tonight. Both teams aggressively attacking the net. The two biggest moments so far, the goal by Ngondo and the penalty kick save from Wild. Afonso to Ngondo. Back to Afonso, just got past him. And it's parried away. Right back to it. Gondo's so good at finding teammates. Now he finds another one. Hernandez, a big save from McMullen. Gondo always seems to find somebody open. That time it was Hernandez inside the box. But McMullen with the big save. And Gondo to his left, creating space. Hernandez working to the top of the box. That's just really good goalkeeping from McMullen. McMullen a chance to get some water, chance to breathe. Four saves for each of these keepers tonight. They've both been great. Still a lot of soccer left in this one. Both these teams trade long possessions. UNCG's offense has been in Gondo. Mercer's been attacking from the wings. Oh, that's clever from Jubang. Some contact in the corner. Yeah, it looks like we'll have a free kick. Still a Spartan player down. That's Milanese. He was down earlier. And slowly gets himself back up. Gaither will take this. This is a corner kick, excuse me. Not a free kick. Low liner for the near post, off the head and wide. Like Seth Eldridge in there.
Jabang got the takeaway and now draws a foul from Vignali. We'll see where Mercer gets this one. Gaither will take it. Here's a look. Jabang was already on his way to the ground. Vignali certainly gave him a little bit of a hard shoulder. Another corner opportunity for the Bears. No shortage of opportunities in this one for Mercer. Once again, taking the corner for the Bears, number 10, Dylan Gaither. Near post again, Milanese. Heads it out of play. Bears desperately trying to equalize this one. Barton's a bit ahead since Ngando's goal in the 17th minute, a long throw. El Harchi was the one who got out of the box. Now he comes sprinting forward for it, stumbling around. Gaither has it. A guard. Jabang controlling. Tries to slip defenders and lose his footing. Now Ngando all along the pass. Too tall for him, but a guard can't control it. UNCG is going to be quick about this. Ngando. El Harchi to his right. And Gondo, and he wins a corner. Nearly every time he has the ball, he draws two defenders. And he still will find space, find lanes to pass, sometimes get past both defenders. This is Afonso, come off his left foot. Hernandez, UNCG will play it out for Mark. Swings one, far post, gets over everybody, and we've got a whistle anyway. We're over three quarters of the way through this one. Jack Egan with you, our fantastic crew at Mercer. You three soccer matches this weekend. At 2 p.m. tomorrow, it'll be the Mercer women's soccer team against UNCG's women's side. That will close out the regular season for both of those teams. And a big match in the standings. Mercer still with a path to win the Southern Conference on the women's side. UNCG on the women's side can get in that top two. Another set piece here for Mercer. That's been their strength the last few matches. Coxhead for Jabang Gaither trying to sneak near post. And how about Ngando with some defending? And Gondo can do it all. He defended that clever attack by Gaither. Mercer's been known to vary those set pieces. And when I was talking to Ruzo about how good Mercer's been in those set opportunities. He said 
that the strength of it is really just their ability to vary the way they run their set pieces and they can adjust it to the opponent. That was an adjustment they made, Mayor. They took Gaither off the ball, set him for the near post, but Ngondo heads up play and some good defending. And they say to throw as we get under 20 minutes. Gondo on a guard. It'll be Mercer possession. The Bears running out of time for an equalizer. That was dangerous for a moment. Now we got a foul. Reyes got run into by Gonzalez. Vardy has a yellow in this one. So he's got to be careful here. Second look. And yeah, it's a pretty easy one. Barton's taking their time. Clock is stopped. Free kick coming. And signaled the wrong direction initially with the Bears. Mercer's best chance was on their penalty kick. Wild came up with a big save. Gaither took the PK. Uh, Mercer's tried attacking from the wings in the second half and created some dangerous looks. We've got a whistle here. are not happy about that one. I missed it initially. Milanese went to the ground. He was challenged by Jabang. Gardens, gotta figure out what to do with this throw. There he is for Ngondo. It'll be a throw. Spartans okay, chewing a lot of clock on their possessions. They are staying aggressive offensively. And we've got an offsides. So Ngondo had just creeped behind the back line. Bears will let the big leg of McMullen handle this. On display a lot tonight. Big right leg, says another one down the pitch. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Artiaga being a little too aggressive for the Bears. Run from Afonso, flag was down.
Here's Ngando again. He's worked a lot from the left side in this second half. Milanese, too tall. Now here's Jabang on the move. Hagen with some contact. And we've got a yellow. They've been quick to book guys tonight. And Hagen right away caught a booking for that. That was a chance for Mercer on the counterattack. I think that may have been factored into the discipline. Wild trying to get his ducks in a row at the top of the box. Gaither will take this. Right to Afonso, who headed it away. And a guard can't quite get to that one. Possession does stay with the Bears. UNCG still hanging on. That 17th minute goal from JC and Gondo. As we approach 15 minutes to go. Jabang controls, picked it off the goal line. Jackson in trouble, take away. Taken right back by Gonzalez. He squeals in pain. On the contact from Ngando, who's already gotten booked, so he doesn't want to get into anything with the referee here. He's a look, just contact with the left foot. And that's right what, what Gonzalez went for. He's still down. Clock has been stopped. Gaither again, he's had so many opportunities on set pieces tonight. Spartans have done a nice job defending. A guard a chance. And Gondo, pretty pass to Reyes. Gaither, hand up for the ball. Just didn't get past Milanese. Sky ball here. And we got a whistle and possession going to the Spartans here. Seen UNCG be a little bit more content in the second half to drop back and defend. Here's a chance. Afonso running in and a corner coming for UNCG. Spartans will take their time. Went ahead and stopped the clock. So if the Spartans are able to hold on tonight, they'll be back in a tie for first with ETSU. Mercer would stay in fourth behind ETSU, UNCG, and Wofford. Dangerous ball there, got past. Couple Mercer defenders then lost the car. 
It was the last touch by, like the Bears. The chances the Bears have had tonight, they're certainly not out of this one. And Gondo near post, off Mercer again. Not a corners, a lot of set pieces tonight. This will be the seventh corner for UNCG. Milanese, we've got a whistle. Man, I guess some contact in the box. McMullen wants to play quickly here. Running a guard, so many Spartans back. Man, now we've got a couple players down. And another stoppage. So let's try and sort this out. <laughs> Clearly a Mercer player. Didn't quite see who it was. Still down, coming over the back. Of Reyes, who's up now. Yeah, we're gonna get some attention here. So we have a Mercer player down just under 12 minutes to go. Bears looking on. Fernando Arteaga comes on. I'm not sure who is down. There's Brad Ruzzo looking on in concern. 15th season as head coach of this program. He's seen four NCAA tournaments, a couple regular season titles. Got the most wins all time. 129 wins at Mercer. Player is up. Still didn't catch who it was that went down. And then Gonzalez slowly walks out. That ball fizzles into a goal kick. Seen a little more physicality the last few minutes as the Bears try and pull even. Long ball for a guard who had some space momentarily, but Nicholas Wild snatches it away. Well, they say he's been handling a lot of throws this half. It's been the attack from the left side with Ngondo. Got a guard and Jackson defending him. Lost control of that pass. Handball for the Spartans. Approaching 10 minutes to go in this one. Chance for Mercer to build up. Long ball in. Couple Mercer players there, but Wild goes in between them and comes up with the ball. We had a whistle on the play. 
Nicholas Wild, who had the big penalty kick save in this one. Puts his body on the line. Spartans just trying to hold out. Much more defensive minded in these last 10 or so minutes. And here's a bit of offense from Engando looking for Reyes far post. Just couldn't quite get to it. Mercer playing with some pace. Mullen went to a knee on that one, got under it. The guard dribbling towards the midfield stripe. Gaither hasn't had the ball much the last 15 or so minutes. Sent it to a guard who fell down. Milanese just gets it clear. Gaither. Now it's just Engondo playing that true nine. Barnes gets some numbers up ahead of him. Sports just are so fluid in their formation. They can morph, do different things. Part of what makes them really dangerous. They certainly have an argument to be an NCAA tournament at large bid if they do not win the SOCON tournament. You get that automatic bid. And when it gets Clemson, you can point to on the road as maybe their biggest this year. They tied Louisville on the road. Beat Elon. Crushed a bunch of other opponents early in the season. And they haven't lost a SOCON match yet. Trying to improve to 3-0-1 in the Southern Conference. Mercer, who's been so good defensively, and they've shown that again tonight, has really just had their, Ach their Achilles heel been the offensive production. Not able to finish opportunities. And it's been more of the same tonight. Debang heads that one over the crossbar and it'll create a corner on the other side. just kicked into the side of the net. Under six minutes to go. Time running out for the Bears. Couple subs for the Spartans. Couple defensive minded players. Matt Maddox Mallory, Matthew Skinner into the match. Two skilled defenders. Spartans all in on defending in these final five minutes. Sesums and Red out of the match. So here we go, we're under five minutes. A one goal lead for the Spartans that they've had since the 17th minute. 
fought off a penalty kick from Gaither on a tremendous save by Wild. Several set piece opportunities for the Bears. Four saves for Wild. And some dangerous balls in the box. But so far the Spartans defense has held. Mercer still with some time though. NCG taking their time. Conley with the throw. Gondo's really the only guy playing forward for UNCG. Got a whistle here, and we had some contact in front of the box. This could be a big chance for the Bears. Mossacar doesn't love it. Protesting from the Spartans, but this may be the best chance we've seen for Mercer in the last 15 or so minutes. Looks to be about 25 yards out here. Gaither and Cox had on the ball. It'll be Gaither, tries a shot. Wild is up to the task again. Unbelievable goal goalkeeping. Wow. And that shot was placed beautifully by Gaither, but Wild was there. And again, he's turned away Gaither. On the penalty kick, Gaither really had a good go at it. Placed the ball into the top left shelf, but Wild was all over it. With very athletic goalkeeping. And again, he comes up big. I mean, it's been five saves for Wild. But a few of them have saved the Spartans in this match. Hard to say any save is bigger than that penalty kick. But that one was right there. Wouldn't be surprised if he's on his way to his second straight. SOCON Goalkeeper of the Year Award. Ninety-four seconds left. Desperation time for Mercer. Archie just sends one all the way down. Yeah, there's some contact in the foul. Mercer will get the stoppage here. A little too aggressive for Maddox Mallory, trying to win possession. Nick Wanzer. He's all right. Sixty two seconds for the Bears. So many opportunities. Can they create one more chance to put one in? And the Spartans tremendous defense hold them off again. 
Here's some trouble. Artiaga trying for the back post. And just couldn't quite guide it there. Tell you what, this has been a tremendous match. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Desperation heave. And that's punched away by the Spartans, who hang on. Hold on, we've got a whistle. And that's it.